All right, we're sitting down right now with CS, who is the designer of the Tor badge this year. We saw his work last year, which was so cool. But this year, it's a much smaller badge, and he's here with us, and we're checking it out. So what are we looking at right now? Yeah, the uh, chip shortage is real, especially uh, this year. Um, it seemed to get worse, actually, than last year. So we remade the little Tor SAO slash badge from three years ago. Um, and we're including it with this kit. Basically everything you see here except the actual handcuffs, <laughs> but we are including the handcuff key, which is why those are out, my special civili for civilian use only handcuffs. Oh, interesting. And we cut the security bidding on there, um, so the extra like 0.6 millimeter slit. Um, so that should be fun, unless you're in Florida, don't, uh, don't try to conceal that. I guess you need it on a key ring legally, but everywhere else have fun. Oh, interesting, okay. so. You get the key, you're now getting a battery, and when does the bat? obviously the battery charges the badge. You, oh my gosh, I cannot believe you're including this sticker. I saw one of these things at the airport, <laughs> and like like a jerk, I think I saw like two people try and plug into it, and is, you know what, you're messing with someone's power. It's, it's a hard choice, but at the same time, equally hilarious. So you get a sticker, you obviously, Gap on googly eyes. All right, let's dive into the badge because that's really, that, that's the meat and the potatoes of this. What is it? Yeah, so it's kind of in between a main badge and a shitty add-on um, because you can power it itself. It includes batteries. It comes with a battery holder and you can rip off the little double stick tape, slap that on the back, wear it on the included lanyard. Or, um, and actually XOR, because don't do both of these simultaneously, you can plug it in to a main badge via the SAO header. So it could work either way, um, either stealing the 3v3 off the main badge or powering off a CR-123. Nice. And what it's doing right now, is it doing any sort of like special sequence or...? Yeah, so there's like maybe 10 different sequences. Um, there's a manual on GitHub um, and there's two unlocks. So there's two games. Um, there's, you know, a limit to what I can actually put on here on both an AT-Tiny and with one button and five LEDs. But if you press and hold the button uh, for like, I don't know, until the top and bottom LED start blinking. Um, now release it so it's in a reaction game. So once the LEDs start lighting up, you want to push the button as fast as possible. And it counted up in binary right there. So uh, you got, what, 16 plus 8? Oh, um, goodness. As a reaction score. So if you score less than 5, then it unlocks like other blink back modes. Oh, very cool. And then the, the, the other game is like a button mashing game. So if you just start smashing it, the LEDs will kind of light up in a... Do I just push it? Yeah, just, yeah, there you go. So, so now you're in the button mashing game. Oh, that's hilarious. So like you, you mentioned the chip shortage. Like last year, your badge was so advanced. When you tried to design something this year, did you just get hit? Like what, are, how, what was the, ch obviously chips are hard to find. Were you finding things like when you actually designed a badge, like you picked you picked a chip and then it would be gone by the time you bought it or? Yeah, so step one was just like, hey, I wonder if we can even make these again. And you look up on the usual DigiKey Mauser and Octopart. And even recently I looked up for this AT Tiny and it's like, yeah, you can have them in June, 2023. So I don't even know what I'm gonna do next year at this point. Uh, oh, sheesh. It's pretty bad. Um, l luckily, the chip or the board manufacturer I used said, oh, yeah, we have a, a thousand of them if you want. I don't know how legitimate those chips are, but uh, they seem to work well enough anyway. Yeah, it, it seems crazy to me because it feels like if you're doing like one one or two badges, like, you know, big manufacturers weren't hit. I feel it's hard because they were getting like the first stock directly from the factory, but a lot of just like hacking and tinkering got hit a little bit harder. This is cool. What else? Anything else you need to tell us about the badge? Um, so these are for $40 at the tour booth, uh, obviously a lot less uh, expensive than last year. Um, and again, a lot less intricate and complex because I didn't have to make sure I needed all of these different parts in the quantities we were trying to pull off. This is, this is really cool. Really, thanks so much. Thanks for diving into this. I really appreciate you coming back. I cannot wait to see what you do next year. Thanks for joining us. We got, we got a guest token for the Hacker Hangouts booth. I got another one from the dark net I'll give you. Thank you so Sweet. much. Thanks for watching. Thanks for just checking out the first badge of many to come on the channel and hack on.